from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Holy bucket. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for joining in on the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind. A radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 66. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Um, I'm reading a story from England, and uh, as you know, we were in England back in September and October. And I never cease to be amazed about some of the things over there that they they just insist on having different from us. I was looking at a story about somebody's weight, which who well, I'll tell you about in a second. And I'm trying to figure out how much she weighs. She weighs 12 stones, 8 pounds. How much is a stone? Don't call him with the answer. It's like, come on, stop with the stones. How about just putting it in pounds? Give us the bad news in pounds. Jesus. Yeah, I'm looking at this story. I'm trying to figure out how much this uh, woman weighs. 12 stones, 8 pounds. I know it's a lot because I'm looking at a picture. She's a piggy piggy. Oh, my. Some big fat thing. This is... <laughs> this is bad. And uh, what's interesting about it is that her face, her head, it looks like this picture is photoshopped. It looks like the head and face of a relatively normal looking person. And then that big, fat, Pierce Brosnan's wife kind of body. Going with it. Actually, Pierce Brosnan's wife at least has big gazongas uh, that are in proportion with her fatness. This one, I think, had no breasts until she got really fat. I am not making this up, but the political correctness thing has gone... So far, it, I mean, way too far. We passed that a long time ago. But you have got to see this story I'm looking at. This is from the London Daily Mail, a tabloid newspaper, a daily tabloid uh, produced in London. And the headline, and, and again, there is a photo, and you have got to see the body out of proportion with the head. It's, It will knock you out. The headline says... Size 16, Miss England hopeful, Chloe, unveils a curvy look in first official bikini shoot. By the way, you can see it at blowmeuptom.com. If you go there, we, uh, we have the link, and you can get a look at what I'm looking at, so you can follow along. Oh, yeah, this is good stuff. Here it is. Are you ready? No, you're not. It says here, Chloe Marshall is the teenage beauty queen. They don't put quotes around beauty queen, by the way, which I find really troubling. Who broke the mold. You know they don't spell mold the same way we do in England? M-O-U-L-D. Well, she broke the mold by becoming the first size 16 beauty queen contender. To make it to the finals of the Miss England contest, which will give you an idea of how ugly the other women in England are. We were in London. We saw it close up. You ride that underground, and I'll tell you what. You want to, There's a beauty pageant for you. 
You had to see some of the big butts on those trains. Oh, baby. And now it says here, she reveals her shapely body in the official Miss England bikini. Not forgetting her tiara, of course, in her first post, I'm sorry, her first bikini photo shoot since winning the Miss Surrey title. Yeah. Posing confidently poolside in the brief, she had to post poolside because she got in the pool, water displacement could cause problems. Posing confidently poolside in the brief white gem embossed Miss England bikini, which she'll wear on the pageant in July, Chloe appears completely lacking in self consciousness. What are you saying? She should be self conscious? Well, if you're saying that, you'd be right. I mean, folks, I'm telling you, if you're anywhere near a computer, if your cell phone can pull up a web page, you got to go to blowmeuptom.com. You've got to see this photo I'm talking about. You have got to see it. Use your iPhone, log on, take a look at this. You've got to see it. Says here the 17-year-old trainee beautician doesn't look like your average beauty queen, and she couldn't be happier about it. I love being fat, she said. No, she didn't, but I mean, <laughs> what do you say? No, she said, it's what I was born to do, posing for the camera. <laughs> and as I keep saying, I love my body. Seriously, you must see this photograph. I can't emphasize it enough. She said, people seem desperate to get me to say that I don't. That deep down, I'm not happy and would rather be thin. But the fact is, I wouldn't change myself at all. Do I have fat days? Of course. But what woman doesn't? If she's got fat days, any day that ends in a Y. Chloe beat a host of slimmer hopefuls. We can only imagine how homely those chicks were. Because this chick, all you, she's the kind of fat chick you could almost say she has a nice face. So you can just imagine the faces of the other hopefuls. Yes, Chloe beat a host of slimmer hopefuls to be named Miss Surrey earlier this month and hopes to win the national competition in July. The Guildford-born plus-size model weighs, and then this word comes up, 12 stones, 8 pounds. Do we do we know how much a stone is, Gary? 12 stones, 8 pounds. She's 5 feet 10 inches tall and has a 38 double D bust and a 60 double D butt. I mean, seriously, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Says here, but although, although she is the average size for a woman, <laughs> by the way, she's only 17. Can you imagine how big she's going to be in 10 years? Although she is the average size for a woman, in the age which has seen the rise of the scarily thin zero model, she certainly stands out. <laughs> oh, she stands out. Watch her coming around the corner. See which part comes first. Chloe said reaction has been mainly positive, but she admitted in an interview with Hello Magazine. That, by the way, Hello Magazine. Is that a magazine for the illiterate? When you're calling a magazine Hello? Of course. Yes, she said that there have been some snide remarks, with one writer accusing her of promoting obesity. <laughs> Well, I think she is. Chloe told Hello, I'm a size 16. I eat well. I exercise regularly. I jog, swim, and work out with weights. Yeah, your thighs. What I am promoting is a healthy girl who looks after herself and doesn't try to force her body to be something it's not. Attractive. Yes, I know. Says here, the teenager who has been signed up by the Models Plus Agency 
said most of her rivals were size 8 or 10. She added, everybody thinks you have to be a tall, slim, blonde, and I'm, she says, a curvy brunette. Remember what I say, a, a basketball is curvy, too. It's one continuous curve. Yeah, curvy. Selma Hayek is curvy. Darling, you're fat. 12 stones is uh, 168. She's 12 stones, 8 pounds. That's 170 176 pounds. pounds. She's 170. She's 5'10 and 176. Jesus. She said, I want to show it is possible to be beautiful and not a standard size zero. You know, there is something in between size zero and 176 pounds, darling. How about 130 pounds? How about 135 pounds? 5'10". Huh? Maybe even 140, but come on. This is 176 pounds. This is off the charts. Now, whether you can see this photo or not, and I, but believe me, I know now you can log on and see it uh, by any number of uh, technological innovations here, whether it be your iPhone or your smartphone or your cell phone. There's a million ways to see this photo. Go to blowmeuptom.com, click on the link, and you'll be looking at this photograph. And then tell me if I'm exaggerating here. <laughs> Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. I've been with my girlfriend for three years. I have never once been to a chick flick with her. I have never once told her person in public, okay? I have my ball. It's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. Let's not like his show on one 800 800 tom Oh, yes. See the Miss England candidate, Chloe, the size 16 beauty pageant contestant and her bikini shot. Oh, my God, that's scary. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Adriana on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Oh, oh, hi. How are you? Wonderful. Finally, I got the chance to talk to you. Uh, how long have you been trying? Um, like a week and a half. No, oh. not that much. Hopefully, yeah. we're going to talk about today's topic and not the one that made you angry a week and a half ago. Exactly. Well, everything makes me angry because you talk very bad about women. How so? Yeah, and I hate that from you. You know what? Because women were princes. And you don't Women, know wait, 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 I, I want to hear everything you say. Women what? You were super princess. You know, we don't, we, we, I just don't want you to talk about, about, about women. And, and of course you criticize women because you're fat too. So where are you standing? Yeah, but I've got money, power, and fame so I can get whatever I want. I, by the no. way, I don't want you. Don't worry about that. But I can get whatever I want. Oh, really? How do you know that you don't want me? I don't. Oh, really? How do you know? Believe me, I know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. You like Latinas, right? You like me? No, but the tone, no, the tone, no, darling, the tone of voice. I don't need that. I don't care what you are. Your tone of voice. I don't need that. Oh, okay, yeah. I can tell. I can tell you're a troublemaker. I hate that you're 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 super machista. That's the first thing I heard about a man. You're super machista. You always try women like we're like a piece of trash, and we're like I'm super tired of this. But I, I mean, I'd like to hear you also. Nobody's because forcing you, know, you to listen. Yeah, I know, but it's like I want to li because I want to hate you at the same time. You want to hate? Me. I want to. Yeah, I want to hate you, but really, really bad, so I can talk bad about you. You, you. It sounds like you enjoy hating me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, very much. I think you've got a love-hate relationship with me. Oh, really? You think that? Yeah. Well, no, because you love to hate me. Let's start with that. And I always talk about you and my, you know, and my, and, and that with people and stuff. And some people like you. And I said, yeah, I hate him. And, I, but I, I really want to kill him sometimes. You know, but I really, I, I hate you, but I love you. You know, sometimes you have that relation when you live with somebody. There we really go. Hate that you really love. That's right. Exactly. So I wanted to tell you that you're super machista. I don't like that. Please don't treat women like that. Yeah, because but but be, you can't lonely, stop. Lonely, lonely, forever. It's I'm not lonely, darling. Why would you think I'm lonely, dear? Well, maybe you know what? Maybe you're gay. 
I'm not. I'm. Time. I'm neither gay nor lonely. Believe me. Yeah, I think so. You know, I think. Well, I'll tell you good. what. You come over here. I'll show you if I'm gay. Uh, how are you gonna show me? You don't have a way to show me. You're gonna. I'm gonna spin you around and bend you over. Oh, gays can do that, too. I know a lot of gays that do that, too. Oh, you do? You know gays who take women and turn them around and bend them over? Oh, yeah. They don't get, you know. The gay men are doing reason. that. Is that so? Uh-huh. They, they don't have a uh, with, 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 Is this happening in Los Angeles? Gay men yeah. bending yeah, women over? In Colombia. In Colombia. In Colombia. Well, that's because in Colombia you can't let people know you're gay. You've got to have people think you're straight. Yeah, well. I've okay. been to Colombia. Right. I know what it's like. What part in Colombia you been? I was in Cartagena. Cartagena? How did, what did you think about Cartagena? I loved it. Really? I was the only American there, but I loved it. Did they treat you good? Yes. Yeah, they told me that you were with a lot of prostitutes there. <laughs> oh, did they tell you that? Uh-huh. Is that uh, all your friends over at the whorehouse were telling you that? <laughs> I, no, I'm the owner, actually. Oh, you're the owner of the whorehouse? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you are. <laughs> yeah, I was the owner, so I just know, you know. Listen to you. You, uh -huh. you, 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 you try to tell me you hate me, but you can't hate me. <laughs> yes, I can hate you. <laughs> of course I can hate you. I can do whatever I want because I'm a princess, because I'm a woman, you know what You're I mean? You're a princess. We can do whatever we want because we get pregnant. <laughs> and just for the fact that we were good oh, pregnant. For the fact my women don't get going. pregnant. That's because I'm gay. Yeah, no, no, but seriously, only because women bring life to this earth, we can do whatever we want. Oh, no, no, you really can't do that. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, so? so? You know, and then you're giving more power to men. But you do, you're giving the power, like, sending those messages to the universe. What you're doing is the men are believing those things. Realistically, that's the thing. That's the comment here. What's the problem with that? Do you, this is what men believe. This is what men feel comfortable no, with. You're giving more. You're giving them more power. They already have so much power. You don't give them more power, please. Well, There's then no you should be watching men. Oprah, where she's uh, empowering women. She's uh, no, getting women to read a book. No, because now she's fat. I don't like fat people. She what? Uh, she's fat. She is fat. Yeah, I don't like fat people. Oh, you don't like fat people? No, I hate them. Mm, I see. Uh -huh. So, hmm? yeah, so please help help us a little bit. A little I'm not bit. here to help you, dear. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help, help me. Us. Yeah, help us a little bit. Just say, you know, good. So, some cases are bad women and some cases are good women. So no, you know, no, no. You know what? I, it, that goes without saying. I don't have to go, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, down that, that low with people and assume they're that stupid, okay? I assume people know uh, that just like a broken clock is right twice a day or just like the guy who jumped off the 10-story building and lived, every once in a while there's an exception to every rule. No, because last time you, you were saying to someone that a guy was asking you if, if he should go to a prom with a girl or something like that. You were saying, no, don't go with a girl. Leave her alone. You know, you were saying things like that. I was like, no, why don't go with a girl? Maybe the girl deserves to go with him to the prom. Why you were saying that? I, uh, no girl deserves to go to the prom. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, there's nothing in it for a guy to take a girl to the prom. Nothing. Why not? Because it's her dream. He doesn't want. Uh, many girls go to the prom, then they peel off and hang out with their friends. No, but the girl wants to go with him, so don't. Uh, the, no, uh, she wants him to pay for everything. That's not true. No, of course it is. That's the true thing. No, that's not true. You know what I mean? That's not true. That's not true. You, that's what you're saying. You think that woman that we just well, then she, then why doesn't she pay for everything? Well, well, if she pays for everything, that's fine. So you see, we'll pay for everything. But they don't. Are you kidding? What woman offers to pay for everything? I, I, I pay for a lot of things in my family. I pay for the 50% of things. I don't. Uh, how about guys you date? Do you pay for them? No. Most no. No, because I'm married. Oh, you're married? Yeah. Did you pay for anything before you got married? No, because in Colombia, we like men to, get, to treat us. You know what I mean? I'm sure you do. Yeah, in Colombia is different, you know. It's here. Gringos are different than, than Latinos. You know? Well, because that's true. My culture, my culture is more like men pay for things and, and you know, women. Well, plus, there's, what are there, 1,700 pesos to the dollar? It's a lot easier to be generous in Colombia. <laughs> no, because, no, because it's according to how much you make. You know what I mean? It's like, it's the same. Of, of course, it's different, but, 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 but people there make 
as you know, it's the same thing people make here. So if you compare, it's, it's the same thing. So if you go out with a guy and the guy doesn't pay you, the, the, the guy doesn't gonna give you anything in the future. Mm. If, if the guy doesn't pay you for for things, you know, that at least the only thing he has to do is pay for something. That's what my par, my dad used to teach me. Oh, the guy has to pay something. If he doesn't pay, if he doesn't invite you, he's not a good man. Ah, uh, see, it's all about money. You know. Well, no about money, but well, you judge whether a guy is a good man as to whether he pays. No, it's about responsibilities. You know, if the man pays, that shows that the the, the man is, is you know it's a good man and can. Well, oh, what if he uh, pays for his half and you pay for your half? He's because responsible. We have, because we have other responsibilities. You know what I mean? As 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 a mom, we we're gonna be more in home, taking care of the children, and you know, men have to be in the. Well, home. how do we know we'll even marry you? Maybe we're just dating you. Well, if if you're well, but maybe if you're dating me, maybe it's because you have you want something in the future with me. So you know, you know, dating me, yeah. dating you because I want to see you naked. Oh, okay, perfect. If you want to see me naked, you have to pay for. I it. have to pay for that. So you're like a prostitute. That's a price you have to pay. Everyone has a price. So you're like you know? a prostitute. No, not like a prostitute. You know, because a prostitute is different. What's, what's prostitute the difference between a no, prostitute no. and you? No, it's different. Prostitutes don't go to, when they go to bed, they not, don't necessarily like the guy. But we don't care if you like us. We just care if you're going to give us what we want. No, because if 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 a, if a girl goes to a, to bed with someone and the girl is not a prostitute, the girl has to like the guy at least a little bit. Has to think that the guy is cute, at least, or, or rich, something like that. Or something like that. But course, I yeah. still don't see the difference between that and a prostitute. No, no the prostitute goes to bed with anyone. You know, just to eat, you know, and because she needs to eat and she needs to pay the rent. Hey, it sounds like a fair trade. No, it's a it's a very big difference. It's, it's a it's a huge difference. I'll you know? tell you the big difference in Colombia: prostitutes charge a lot less. Well, yeah, it's true because they need to eat because the, the situation there is very you know it's critical. Well, there you go. I mean, so I would I wouldn't recommend that guys go overseas to break the law, but all I'll say is the prostitutes in Colombia very reasonably priced. Well, reason of I said, you know, but yeah. I hear why, Elliot why, Spitzer why? is running for president of Colombia. What did you say? I hear yeah. Elliot Spitzer is going to run for president of Colombia. <laughs> really? So, yeah, well, that's not a point here. The point here is that you, I don't like how you treat women. Hang on a second, uh, Adriana. Let me say hi to Connie. Connie, what did you want to say to Adriana? Um, what she's saying is not true. She doesn't know what she's saying. She needs to learn how to talk before she says anything because we can hardly understand her. And it's not about being a housewife. And her dad taught her wrong because it's not about money. And she is talking like she is a prostitute because how are you going to have to get paid for sex? Like it has to be equal, equal if they even stay with her in the, in the whole relationship. And also that, oh, well, who was the other point? Oh, well, the point is she needs to not get paid for it because that is just not cool. Because, yeah, that's funny. I wouldn't get paid for sex. First of all, if she doesn't understand my accent, so why she's up, is giving an opinion right now? So she will. Uh, California English radio station talking. <laughs> California, forty percent Latinos living here in this state. So you know, and so anyway, you know. Doesn't mean I'm not Latino. I didn't say that because I don't have an accent, but I can speak English. Uh, that's good. I'm trying. You know, I'm taking reduced accent classes. But I'm more and know what you're talking about about having sex and not getting paid for it. Because if you want to get paid for it, then you should stand somewhere and get paid for it, and not sit at home as a housewife. And your dad should teach you how to be independent and learn how to take care of yourself and not at home while some no, guy is trying to take care of you. Because that's not what it's about. It's not about independence. It's not, Mom, it's not about, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I can pay fifty percent, but if I'm dating a guy, at least I just, I just, I'm waiting for him to pay something. You know, when I'm married, and the guy is not paying. about them paying for everything. You're just dating a guy. Do something with me is sexually. He has to pay for that. You know, at least. Well, in what way are you not a prostitute? No, I'm not. In what way, what way are you not if you're having this guy dating you, but he has to pay half and half for everything, but and plus pay for sex? 
prostitute is someone that goes every night for sex and you know and and and, and, and gets paid for that but the pro that's a, that's a different story this is a girl that wants to have fun and wants guys to pay for things sometimes you know and get, get, likes to you know likes to be and yeah get it you know and, you know i like guys to invite her to go out and have fun that's a different it's a big difference connie yeah. thank you for the call let me get daniel here daniel what did you want to say to adriana Hello, Tom. Hello, Daniel. Oh, man. Hey, hey, man, that lady's wrong, dog. Man, Latinos ain't like that. Shut up, the hell up, girl. G's up, hold that down. You know, but, hey, that's not the way my dad raised me, man. My dad just told me to hit and quit it, dog. You know, and that's wrong. She ain't saying the truth. Latinos ain't like that. Hell nah. Okay, Latinas here are different than Latinas that were coming. Hell nah, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You came from over there. Stay over yeah, there. Yeah, I came here about five years ago. You were born here. It was two different things, two different oh, things. I wasn't born here. I was born over there, but I'm still pimp like that. It doesn't matter, mama. It doesn't matter. I still get it. No matter so what. You're, you're like gringo. You're like ha you're like you're like seventy percent gringo, thirty percent Latina. You're not matter. Latina. I'm a gringo. I'm not Your mouth, we're on the air. Come on. All right, my bad, my bad. Though you know, well, I'm trying to shut it up. Hey man, hit me with that bond hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with something right now. <coughs> Latinos, you shut up. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. I got the new test for uh, man's best friend. What's that? You, you take your girl and you take your dog and you put them in the trunk of your car and you leave them there for about two hours and when you come back you see which one's happy to see you. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5-800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of the program. We appreciate it. There she is, a size 16 beauty queen pageant contestant, hoping to become Miss England. Claiming to be uh, in the vicinity of 180 pounds. Most of you listeners who've been writing in think she's more like 200 pounds, and I think you're probably right. She is 5'10", after all. That is one fat chick. Oh, boy. Where have we gone now that the beauty pageant contestants are these big, fat things? What has happened to us? Jesus. Uh, you can see this photograph and the article that accompanies it by going to blowmeuptom.com. Click on the link to the uh, London Daily Mail piece and you will be looking at it. You can see this photo in all its glory. Those of you who are chubby chasers, print this out. Put it up on your wall. Might want to laminate before you put it up. All you chubby chasers out there. But uh, come on. I mean, am I being unrealistic? Am I being uh, unfair here? I don't think so. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great. Good. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to call in and let you know I'm actually from England originally. Um, I moved over here in 2000, and uh, I can honestly say that this she represents the norm, unfortunately, and there is a reason that I now live in Southern California. Yes. Uh, now, let's go over this. Uh, for people who haven't been to England, and I, you know, we were just there in September and October, uh, chicks in London, chicks in L.A., who wins? Um, on, unfortunately, because I'm an English national, but definitely L.A., 100%. And, in fact, if the further north you go in England, the worse it gets. It's like yeah. getting into the Midwest around here in the really nasty Yes. Part. Well, that, here in Southern California, we have the equivalent. The further a woman lives from the ocean, the fatter and uglier she tends to be. Yes, and unfortunately, England's an island, so pretty much everywhere is close to the ocean, but it's damn cold. <laughs> yes, well, we can confirm it. We saw it up close. Well, you get on that underground, I'll tell you what, that's quite a study in um, in uh, humanity down there. Yeah, it is. I mean, there are beautiful women there, don't get me wrong. They're not all um, heifers or anything, but, you know, trying to find them is really hard. When you do find them, they're so uptight and so preoccupied with money and wealth and um, 
kind of uh, the, the associated um, uh, material aspects that go with it that it just doesn't make it worthwhile. I like the women here. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that lady you just had on a few minutes ago. Um, since I moved to the States, the term princess was completely new to me when I moved over here. So uh -huh. she said princess in like the first three sentences. Any woman that refers to herself or other women as princesses is, is the wrong kind of woman. And I do love women. I am married. I'm very happily married. But a lot of the things you say is, like point, is pointing to these guys at, you know, making sure they don't make the mistake that way too many people make. No doubt about it. Mark, thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. Take care. Can Appreciate you uh, blow me out um, Spitzer style? Uh, Elliot Spitzer style. Of course I can. So as we find it. Number nine. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. This is Anthony on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Anthony. How's it going, Tom? How you doing? Doing great. Great. Love your show. First time, long time. Thank you. Well, you know, on the subject of this uh, girl from England, I, I, I've experienced going to a quote unquote size acceptance club in Long Beach called yes. Club Bounce. Oh and yes. Did you hear about the, uh, the you hear there was a shooting outside a club bounce recently? No, I had no idea. I went there once and never wanted Apparently to Apparently some of the guys were fighting over some of the uh, chubsters uh, who like to frequent the place. You, you know what, it's not that they're chubsters, because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a Latin male. I like thick girls, you know, not fat, but some of these girls were huge. Wow. And they promote this every... I have some friends that are plus-size models, and they, like, go out there wearing next to nothing, and you just see rolls and rolls and rolls. It's disgusting, and I think that girl is promoting being a big girl, and I know this club is going to, you know, jump all over it, you know, and you know when they start jumping on it, we're going to feel the earthquake because they're big girls, but I disagree with it. It's uh, not a good thing, you know. I mean, if she's big, she's big, whatever. Some guys like that, but come on, give me a break. I mean, have some pride in yourself. You know, lose some weight, you'll get a better guy. And the guys there, oh, my gosh, talk about uneducated yahoo. <laughs> I guess it's just the uneducated people like the uneducated girls, and, you know, they make uneducated babies, and next thing you know, we pay their welfare. Well, a lot of truth in that. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. And our international phone number, if you're listening anywhere around the world outside of the United States, the country code is 1, the area code is 323, and the phone number is 520-6211. Jay is listening to the online stream in Islamabad, Pakistan. Jay, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, man. I must say that you are freaking good. Thank you. You're good, man. All the things you are saying is just like, wow. Do you have a show like this in Pakistan? Uh, no. <laughs> really? I wish they do, but they don't. Wow. I think one day I will become Tom Likas. You never know. Uh, somebody should. <laughs> well, you know, I'm coming back to California and like, man, listening to you, I'm just learning a lot. And like, wow, I must say that you are doing a very good job. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. How are, and, the, women, uh, how are the women in Pakistan, by the way? Uh, well, they are nice. They are kind. And, uh, you know, but uh, I don't have to with them. But like when I'm coming back to California, I need to be safe, man. Now, I need to I, go by I, Tom Likas' rule. Absolutely. Have you seen this yeah. photo of this chick from England? I don't even want to see it, man. You, you, already, you already described me to oh. her. Anything, anything over 120, she's fat. I'm not going out with her. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And you know what, man? I got money. I got everything, you know. Um, thanks God, I'm doing good. And uh, I'm just coming back to California to make more money. That, that's uh, This is the place to do that. Yep. And uh, I'm not going to miss it, man. I'm, I'm coming back. I can't wait to get back. It's just I love California, and it's just so nice out, out there, you know? Oh, and believe I, me, I do. Yeah, I just want you to know that, man. Like, just keep doing it, and I hope you stay always on radio, man. I wish you could do it somehow. Well, thank you so much. Uh, call us anytime. Islamabad, check it in there. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Nikki on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm okay, Nikki. 
I'm calling because I feel like saying I love my body when you're clearly clearly a little hefty is what fat girls say when they don't want to go to the gym and they just want to stuff their face with donuts. Well, that's like people who have a lousy job who say, oh, you know, I don't need money. Who needs I money? I do it because I love it. People, I really love what People I with money are never happy anyway. Who needs money? <laughs> they obviously just have never had it. That's the problem. That's there. right. That's exactly and right. And this never been thin, and that's you know, what she's dealing with. Look at that. Have you seen this photo? Are you looking at it? I saw the photo, and I totally agree with you that her boobs are only big because she's fat. And they're, like, kind of hanging out the armpit on the side. They're like those man boobs, you know? I mean, they, they, this woman, it looks like she had no boobs until that, that gut started to hang out like that. <laughs> so true. And it's so bad that we have to see it in a swimsuit. I mean, come on. Us women are supposed to be looking up, getting in shape. Like, you know, I want to see this. Giselle and like real models. I want to. I don't want to see this girl promoting fat people. We That's already right. have enough obesity in the United States. <laughs> That's exactly right. We do not need any more. Oh my! How many bangers and mash have this fat woman had? Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, it is bad. Disgusting. And, yeah, you're right. Her face looks like it doesn't really belong because her face isn't bad. She's it's so out of proportion. Girl. Doesn't it look photoshopped? It doesn't even look. It looks like this head came from somewhere else, and they should put it on a fat body. It totally looks like that. And she's posing by the pool, and it's like her chair on. I mean, it's a wappy matter. <laughs> it's, it's really preposterous. It is so bad. I just feel embarrassed for her and for, you know, and she's not embarrassed for herself. By the way, that's an indoor too. pool she's posing next to because it's only April in England. Yeah, that's it because the guy that just called in a little bit ago said that it's freezing over there. So he's, she's posing by the pool, and that's probably why she's ever late, too, is because they don't go outside. They stay indoors by the pool. <laughs> indoors. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. On. me up. Hillary, uh, we blow up Hillary Clinton for me? Of course I can. Here you go. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number and our international number, by the way. Uh, the country code is 1. The area code is 323. And the number is 520-6211. Jackie is calling from Innsbruck, Austria. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Yeah, yeah. Good abend, Tom. <laughs> what does that mean? Good evening? Good morning? I think so. I think so. It should be like, what, 6 or 6.30 over there by y'all? Uh, it is 6.50 p.m. as we do the show live here, yeah. There we go. Well, I'm calling because I think this is a travesty for a couple of reasons. Number one, I lived in California for a long time. I'm originally from California. And the reason I left California is because I really got tired of nobody cares about anything kind of attitude. Everything goes. Everything's okay. You know, they protect criminals, victims, all kinds of crazy things. And when people are in the public eye in any form, I don't care if it's on the computer, television, radio, film, they are also projecting an image. So this person is projecting an image for heavy people. Okay, heavy people have different reasons for being heavy. Some of them are medicinal. Some of them are genetic. Those who are just heavy because they're too lazy and don't care about what they put into their bodies are also projecting an image of this is okay to look like this for young girls. Don't worry that you won't get any dates in high school. Don't worry that you'll be made fun of. Don't worry that you'll have a problem getting a job and be looked at funny. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being heavy. Every girl out there who's listening to your broadcast has gained a couple pounds and lost a couple pounds. If they're not and they say that they don't, they're lying. It's not about that. It's about what people perceive young people when they see this kind of thing. They said, see, Mom, it's okay. I want another Snickers. <laughs> this, is crap. this is crap it's pure crap hey nothing wrong with being proud of yourself but if you're in a public image what kind of image is it that you want to portray that that's okay to look like that that that's a good thing or it's forget about good or bad what about just being healthy well uh, again uh you have these women trying to tell us now that fat is not only beautiful but these women are healthy oh yes i work out Ah, uh, yes, I jog. I uh, if they jog, they probably die from flappage. And number <laughs> and number two, I have been heavy. I've been ten pounds overweight. That's not a lot, but it's enough to make me say, you know what? I don't like it. It's not comfortable, and I'm not going to learn to like it because I'm happier, lighter when I'm at the proper weight. No doubt about it.
Jackie. Thank you for checking in from Innsbruck, Austria. We appreciate it. The Tom Likas Show. Yeah.